Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase preview showcase, whatever, because there's just a ton going on with Hot Wheels NFT Garage. I have Series 4, the physical models to show. I actually have the Series 3 models too, which I haven't shown carded. I believe those are being distributed. The Series 4 models, the window for the physical redemption is still open, I think through May 12th. So if you actually bought the virtual packs, the NFT packs, of Series 4 and we're lucky enough to pull one of the rare physical models, you can still redeem that if you haven't already and they'll start mailing those out soon. I actually got lucky. I bought three or four packs, I believe, and in one of them I actually pulled the Cadillac Seville. So I, uh, I redeemed that one and I'll have it uh, soon. This is this stuff that I have here, all this physical stuff that was sent to me by Mattel so I can showcase it for you. But yeah, I was lucky. I got that one. I was pretty excited about it. That's the first time I bought all the NFT packs. And this is the first time I got lucky and bought and got a physical model to redeem. Um, also, Series 5 goes on sale tomorrow on Mattel Creations, which is fantastic too because instead of doing the wallets and you know, there's so many of us that uh, have a hard time understanding all the NFTs things. Some of you are well versed in that and understand it but now you can just buy the packs on mattel creations just like you would buy anything else the pack gets sent to you you can open it up see what you got you'll have your nfts and then you, if you're lucky enough to get a, a physical model uh, they'll uh, open up that window for redemption later on so in a sense promoting series 5 sale tomorrow also promoting the series 4 redemption if you haven't done that and also just kind of showcasing the models from series 3 I'll walk through some of these. We now, with Series 5 coming out tomorrow, we are now, uh, yeah, obviously five series in. That means 25 cars total. We have 20 that are uh, already made. The Bone Shaker was the first treasure hunt. So there's a bunch of cars in each series. There are five physical models that you can redeem. Um, the first series had a lot of Hot Wheels originals and one licensed. And then one of the models, which will be the rarest, they're all kind of done in different numbers. Um, some of them very, very low numbers. There's a treasure hunt, which is done in the lowest amount of numbers. In series one, it was the uh, Bone Shaker. And uh, for, it was a, I think that's an appropriate first treasure hunt. But you can see, you know, the Roger Dodger, a bunch of models. And then they did the Hot Wheels, the uh, special edition Camaro, right? That's an actual real car, too. That was the only licensed model from Series 1. Series 2 was a monster. We had some cool unlicensed stuff, original models like the Aristorat. Um, they, and it's, I, don't, you know, I don't know why they, how they pick the models that they do. Here's the uh, Auto. What is that? The Custom Auto is what it's called, right? That's an old Hot Wheels classic. Um, I don't know why they pick the models that they do, but it's a nice variety. We saw more licensed move into Series 2. This uh, C8 Corvette, I think, is fantastic, especially in that Spectre Flame. They'd call that yellow, but obviously it comes out gold. And these are all done, um, these models are done in kind of that treasure hunt. They, the Spectre Flame that's a, that is the equivalent of Super Treasure Hunt Spectre Flame, so not RLC level. Um, this is the Honda S2000, which is, I think, proven to be one of the more popular models from any of this series. The S2000 always is. And then, of course, the Treasure Hunt was the fantastic Bel Air Gasser. Really cool deco, and I really, in particular, like the wheels on this one. So NFTH, so like that treasure hunt, you know, if you pull it, it becomes it comes on a gold card, everything else, just a really, really cool model. Um, so they'll do five models, one's a treasure hunt, that's the rarest, and then they'll even do various numbers within those five. And, uh, and now we have series three and series four. I'll walk through series three really quickly. I actually have the carded models and the loose models. Um, if you want to see, well, I'll just show you that when I do series four, I pulled, oops, I pulled these out of the protectors so you can kind of see this is the bad to the bone and we'll, we'll get more into the cards in a little bit, but there is the artwork for the bad to the bone. And here is the model bad to the bone is obviously a hot wheels original kind of based on an indie car. I'm going to kind of, I'm running out of space already. Um, not much, you know, they don't have a, they don't have a barcode or anything because they come in those boxes, but the bad to the bone was one. Um, another real car unlicensed, I don't know how you call it, but the 2 Jet Z, which won the Legends, that one has come out. And these cars do look real. I think it's kind of cool. A lot of reflective stuff on here, which filming outside can make it weird. Oh, I didn't show the model. There it is right there. So the 2 Jet Z, one Legends, I think the second Legends, this one I think is just an original deco. Leeway does the decos on these. Um, you can kind of see his style. They show he, do, he does 
uh, a lot of decos for basics and five packs and special editions, things like that. Um, but he does all of the decos for this one. Number 51. So that's, this is number 51 out of the entire series in, in, in series three. This is the 77 Pontiac Firebird. TA, which is a really, really nice cast. And what I like about this with the variety, you know, you have the Honda S2000 we'll get to, but the Firebird is just like that classic muscle and it looks so good with the, um, with the five, well, I'll show you. It looks so good with the five spokes. That classic Hot Wheels muscle look. This is a great casting. I think June designed this one for modern classics back in the day. The original modern classics from like 2008, 2009. Flames, everything. Rising Phoenix on the hood. Just a really, really cool model. And then, uh, yeah, Acura NSX. 2017 Acura NSX. Cool art on this one. And cool model. Especially with the five spokes. I think that is cool. I'll actually show you that model here real quick. So these are cool. I mean, they when Lee Wei takes on these designs, I think he takes on the same approach that he would with like a super treasure hunt. Meaning he'll he'll pick some Spectre Flame that really pops. He gives this the full deco. There's for the most part you'll see, um, and um, and like he just he wants to make these those kind of medium premium models. It's the rarity that makes these incredibly valuable. But they're really really nicely executed. So there's your treasure, and you can see it comes in the, with this gold card. It is the 2016. Cadillac ATS VR. I really think it's kind of cool to see this casting chosen. Um, the back is the sun, but they do the window. And what's kind of cool is they've shaped the blister. So the car, you can see the car, but it like, I just, you're just not going to open these because they're just so valuable. Somebody will if they have a lot of them. But I mean, the, the value on these because of the rarity and the card art doing this like textured gold card. It just me. I, you know, I open them almost everything, and I'm I'm not gonna open this. Well, Till sent it to me. Of course, they didn't. They didn't send it to me to open. They sent it to show. That's why they sent the loose car, so I can actually show that, so you can see that loose if you'd like to. Obviously, if you want to open this and you have this, open it. But I just think the whole package here is kind of cool, and I'm glad they chose this casting as the treasure hunt. It's like it's cool to see a model like that getting some of that uh, that kind of exclusive uh, kind of treatment. So I think that's really cool. Really digging that one. All right, that is series three very quickly. Let's get into series four. I'll uh, kind of move some of these out of the way. There, now we have some space. So when you get these, when you redeem them, they come in this very plain box. I kind of like the contrast here because the box is black and white. It kind of doesn't unveil what is un what is inside. There's where your barcode is, all of the other information, all the legalese. Um, that's your total package right there, right? Just a cardboard box. It's sealed with the sticker. I've already cut those open. Um, and uh, yeah, it, I, I do like the way they've done this. It's very, very plain. And then what's inside, well, we'll get to this card in a little bit, but is something completely different. Obviously a crazy cool card. Let's just start over here. Oops, knocking things over. And I don't really need to show you the boxes every time, but this is the Chevy Silverado off-road. I've got everything out. It comes in a protector. I just took the protector off. There's no reason for you to see me do that. Chevy Silverado off-road. It's got information from the Mud Studs collection in Series uh, 4. They did several of these. There is the card art. It's so reflective. It's like, i got to be careful that, you know, so you can actually see it, not see too much glare. But the art's really cool. It seems like they've been getting better and better on the art. Um, obviously not much on the back, so don't really need to show too much of that. But mud studs, so the cars that were in this series have the muddy tires, muddy look, and this one is no exception. So this is the truck, like it was originally released in a low rider, or low rider, in a, it was the lowered slam truck, had a motorcycle in the back, if I remember, as a basic, and then they modified it to be lifted, modified it more than usual. They didn't put a new base on it, they actually made the casting slightly smaller, maybe there was some budget or some sort of production uh, restraints on that. Uh, we haven't seen this casting very much. I don't think, I think it's been in Heritage and then maybe it was a mail-in. So nice to see this casting return. I like the wheels on it, like the, uh, the mud look. I think that looks kind of cool. I'll uh, try and balance these. This is off the shot, the Silverado, but uh, we'll get there. Next one is the Pagani Huayra. That's in the shot, right? There you go. Here is the card art. 
Hot Wheels Exotics 2013 was when this casting was made. There was the Roadster was made after that. The art is so cool on this one. Love the background, love the reflection, love the uh, kind of nighttime look of that one. Um, there's the top of it, so you can kind of see that. The embossed detailing on here. And the casting's awesome too. This casting desperately needs all the detail. And when you look at this, this is one of the best versions of this, of this casting, in my opinion. Let me uh, actually show it to you. Because I really like the chrome 10 spokes. I really like the fact, obviously, that it gets the front and rear detailing. But the, is that the Italian flag detailing on the side? And just in a really kind of pinstripey way, it's just like it's really subtle and clean. Same thing on the hood. I just think this is a great version of the Pagani, no matter where it came from. I just think that thing is awesome. Big fan of that one. You know, it's it's these are these are like super treasure hunts in that if you get your hands on one, you're lucky no matter what the model is, and you're appreciative. Like a super treasure hunt. Um, this is the '69 Copa Corvette right there. Here's the art. I mean, super treasure hunt. No matter the cast, there's some that you're more excited about than others, right? But, I mean, if you walk into a store and there's a Super Treasure Hunt hanging on the peg, you're going to be very excited and you're going to buy it. These, same thing, you buy the pack, there's some cars that you're going to like more than others, but if you pull one of those physical redemp re redemption cars, how cool is that? And so, and the reason I bring that up, I'll show you the art. Retro Racers, this is Cop Copa Corvette, by the way, great casting, Basic first, the James Garner racing version remains my favorite, but it's there's been some really good versions. There's a Toy Fair version of this casting. Um, check this thing out. Uh, anyway, but it's like it's like so the the cool thing is that you find one if you're if you buy a pack and you get this, it's like it's cool no matter what that you're going to be able to to uh, get one of these rarities. But it's a bonus, so it's already appreciated that way. But it's a bonus when the car looks so good and this Corvette. I think with the details that this one has, like the Cadillac in the, in the series before and the Gasser and some of these, like the Corvette C8, they just, no matter what the release, they just look good. And this one looks amazing. I love the color of the rims. I love everything else about it. I like all the racing details on it. That's just one I'm just way into. Um, Pagani's like that too. All right, Cadillac Seville. Nice to see this cast and getting the love that it is. It, it was been around forever. Um, then showed up in, uh, the, it was the Gucci exclusive, right? And then, uh, that collaboration that Hot Wheels did to celebrate Gucci's anniversary. Now it's in basic this year. It's a red edition and it is an NFT 82 Cadillac Seville from the Hot Wheels exotics collection. Looking really good to get that nighttime look just like the Bagani. And I guess, you know, maybe the card art is the same, right? Because it's the, uh, the Wyra is part of the exotics as well. I guess you'd, I mean, I would, is, is, is a gold Cadillac an exotic? I guess maybe it is. But anyway, this is a cool, cool, this is like kind of, this has the retro vibe that some of these other castings do, like the auto, but has a bit of a modern look to it because it has been updated. And I love this one. I love the gold rims, the GT rims on this one. I love the uh, white wall tires white line tires maybe and I like that they've gone it's hard to tell here but you've got the spectra flame red on top and the two-tone is actually a matte black over it which looks really really cool so same thing this one this one I appreciate differently than I do the Copa Corvette and the Pagani I just appreciate this one for just kind of its vibe I love the color combination I love all the gold on it I just think that thing is pretty freaking cool and then of course there is a treasure hunt and it's a good one i know it's going to be a popular one because it's a very popular casting it is the mclaren well i'm getting ahead of myself i'll show you the card one the mclaren f1 gtr from the speed blur series that's a leeway style the speed blur is his look and uh, his style he's got that kind of deco that he's done for this one gold card on this one so it's very reflective so i could probably wave to you in the reflection there you are Hello, everybody. Uh, what's funny about these is like the card art's more complete on the other versions, but on this one, because they have to do the outline, it's so reflective, the car really does look like it's kind of cut out. But still very cool because of the gold. I just think that's really, really cool. I'll show you the back of it as well. It has that window so you can see the entire car. So this is a really special version. I don't know how many are made on this one. I, I know it's, it's mentioned. 
uh, when these go on sale, and that will happen tomorrow. I think the Treasure Hunt's a Porsche 911, if I remember correctly. Um, there's some really cool cars in that series. I'll be buying some packs. Um, anyway, this is the McLaren. Let me show you the model. Speed Blur Deco, which is a lot of, like, kind of breaks and stripes and different kind of colors. It's just kind of a really clean racing style that uh, Leeway's kind of come up with himself. And it's, you know, that's why he's a designer for Hot Wheels, because they're super cool. They can be, they can be, um, they can have a lot of colors, but still have kind of a unique clean look and this one really fits the era of the car and you know the diagonals and everything it's just a really really cool model you can see the th logo on the side everything else full details i think this thing is fantastic there you go those of you who got lucky getting some of the uh, series four cars you better redeem them if you haven't already they'll start mailing those out soon um series five good luck tomorrow maybe i'll put up a so post um so we can uh, see who, uh, who got lucky with some of these physical redemption cards. And then you got the NFTs. They have their own value. It's kind of a cool deal. Some people are into them. Some people aren't. But you do get some physical cars. So to me, it's worth pursuing them. Thanks, everybody. Bye.